Hello, fellow Sudokans, and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Friday, the 3rd of June, 2022. Yes, indeed. <laughs> welcome back. Yes, I've been away. <laughs> uh, a few days uh, of uh, missing Sudoku. Um, uh, nothing uh, exotic, like I haven't been, you know, on the beach or anything like that. Uh, unfortunately, it's due to it was due to pressure of work, uh, all things colliding at once. Um, I wear many hats, um, by which I mean I have a lot of different uh, job roles and functions. I don't mean I'm a multi-headed hydra. Eventually, I wonder I could get my Sudoku done much quicker if I could. I could do three Sudokus at once if I were <laughs> if I were a multi-headed hydra. But anyway, uh, it just means I have a lot of different job things to do. And it so happens that they all collided uh, this week um, with me having to, uh, I, if I could clone myself, that would be very useful. Um, so uh, anyway, back to the Sudoku. And I'll, I haven't finished my work, but um, today is a public holiday in Thailand, as it is back in the UK, of course. I think it's the Jubilee, isn't it? Platinum Jubilee, is it? Something like that. I think that's the one they've given it this year. I kind of, I can remember the Silver Jubilee uh, back in the 70s. I think that was 77, I think. Um, they did have street parties and stuff like that. Um, but I was a bit old. So I was a teenager. I wasn't really interested and in not particularly uh, uh, <laughs> royalist or anything in the UK. And so uh, I don't remember being involved in them, but I do remember seeing them and uh, people enjoying themselves, which is great. So uh, I hope that you, if you are uh, taking part in a street party today or enjoying celebrations or whatever, that you uh, have uh, a great time. And um, so let's get on with today's Guardian Sudoku puzzle. Uh, I've missed it the last few couple of days. I think two days I've missed at least, maybe three. I'm not even sure how many days I'm missing, but... Um, uh, if I get a chance at some point in the future, I'll try and catch up on The Guardian. The other one's probably not, except I have one fluke and New York Times to replay. I will try and do that one when I get more time. Um, this, I suppose, is it's, since it's Friday, there should be a hard-level puzzle. I forgot to check. I guess it's the uh, hard-level game from The Guardian, but we uh, are suspicious of their grading, aren't we, fellow Sudokans? So let's get on and play the game. Uh, if you've never played Sudoku before, a quick pricey of the rules. We have rows across into which each square of which we will place numbers one to nine. And then we have columns down and we will um, perform the same task there. And then we have these small blocks of nine squares where we pick numbers one to nine, the same thing. It's easy, except when it's not. And uh, so how do we go about finding these numbers and completing this kind of jigsaw? Well, let's say this two here appears in this column and therefore cannot be in any other square. Of course it can be there, there's a five already in that square. We can only place one number in a square. Two blocks all the way down here, two blocks all the way down this column as well. And so when we look at this block down here of nine squares, uh, we see there is only one empty square. We've got three and an eight already occupying these two squares and two blocks these squares down here. I use the term blocking, which means forbidding uh, the presence of a two. And so the two must go there. And that's how we found our first number. I'll do exactly the same kind of thing here, like mind blocking across this row, mind blocking across this row, and in this block now. I know the word block, use, use, of, use of the word block as verb and now can be a bit confusing, but I, I, it's my habit. Nine goes there. Right, now you know how to play Sudoku. Let's get on with it, shall we? And find some more interesting numbers or patterns, if we can. <clears throat> My voice has recovered, rather, after being attacked mercilessly the last few days. Okay, we have a fight. It's still looking at this block down here. We have this five blocking all the way down here, and so therefore we need one space available. So this block is almost complete, but we're just missing numbers one and seven that have to fit into these two empty squares to have every digit of this 
need block or box or statement or whatever. Uh, by the way, of course, we can't get the 1 and the 7 here. We, we just don't have anything across here to tell us that information just yet. What we do have, though, is an 8 blocking across here and an 8 blocking across here. So here we have an 8. And we have our six blocking across this row here and the six blocking down here, so that will be a six then. We have three empty squares in this block down here. The missing numbers are one, five, and seven. Fortunately for us, we have five and seven in the same column. So when we look at this square here, we know it's not five, we know it's not seven. And ergo, it must be a 1. This 1 up here blocks down here, and the 1 blocks across here. So that means that in this block here, 1 has to be in either this square or this square. I don't know which one, because over here, 1 is also in these two squares, so I can't really tell which is which, but that doesn't matter. What I'm more interested in is the fact that it will, whether it's in this square or this little block up here, and this one blocking down here. So our one will be there. We have ourselves an eight up here and an eight up here and an eight across here. So naturally an eight fits there. Uh, now this column here is lacking an 8, uh, we've got 4 empty squares and we don't have an 8, but we can see an 8 blocking this square and an 8 blocking this square and another one blocking this square, so guess what, just one place to go. Uh, and then we'll say 8 blocking down here and up here and across here, it looks like another Guardian um, overrated puzzle, it doesn't look like it's going to be a high level puzzle, but every time I say that, something goes wrong <laughs> with my plan and and it suddenly turns into a more difficult one so it might turn out to be like that Okay, I'm uh, still kind of surveying board, I haven't had a chance to look at it properly really. Uh, you know, when you see a few easy ones like that, it's so easy you just kind of jump in and do them without really much needing much thought. Okay, we have fives blocking across here and across here and down here. So that's a five. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, <coughs> where should I be? Uh, let's just highlight some digits and see what looks likely. Mm. 
Okay, so we have uh, two blocking up here and across here, so that puts a two in one of these two squares, which will block across this way, two blocking to the left, and two blocking up to the top. So that's where our two goes, then two down here and two up here, puts a two there, and then two across and across here, puts a two there, two up here, two up here, and two across here. That's where the two goes, which is now done. Two and eight are both complete. We have ourselves a four up, oh, excuse me, in a straight line, please, Neil. Four blocking up here, four across here, so four in one of these two squares. Block it back that way, four across here. That's how four goes. Uh, missing numbers here and here are 3 and 7. This 3 immediately eliminates this square, so the 3 will be here and the 7 will be there. It doesn't help us on 7s, it puts 7s here and here and there and there if you're interested. Look for something else instead. Okay, <clears throat> numbers missing from across here are six, seven, nine. We've got six blocking this square and six blocking this square, so in your view, six. And the seven and nine, no, yes. Okay, one of our missing numbers down here is seven, so this blocks the seven here, seven blocks there. So that is our seven, in fact, and this will be our nine now. Uh, nine blocks up here and across here, so nine is in one of these two squares blocking across. And nine blocks across here, so this is our nine, in fact. Um, this is going to have to be a three. Why? Because one of the missing squares here is a one, one of the missing numbers here, I should say, is one, and here's a nine, so this clearly can't be one or nine. That means one and nine will be in here, and three will be in that square there. Missing numbers from this column appear to be four and six, so let's say four blocks across there. That's now four and six will be the last digit for that column. Now six blocking across here allows us, indeed forces us, to place a 6 there. And finally here will be a 5. That 5, bring it down, 5 across to the right here. That's our 5 there. 5 across here now means, means that this will be our 5 and this will be our 7 to finish that bit there. One digit to complete the row, which is 4. <coughs> Six blocking down here and six across here, so this is our six. One blocks this square down here, so this will be our one, meaning this is our one and this is our seven, and this will be our seven down here. One digit missing from this column, which is also a seven. Seven across here, up here, across here, down there, round and around, seven goes there. Seven blocking across this row and up this column. Seven goes here. It's, there's too much done for it now to have any kind of difficulty in logic. At this stage, it's just not on. Um, I can tell from the puzzle. 
we are not going to be faced with any difficulty to finish it, I think. Uh, missing number here is a one. One blocks down here. This will be a one. The last number here is a three. And the last number here is a five. Not much more to do now, is there? Uh, three, four here. Any help on three, four? No, not yet. What's missing up here? Also three, four. Okay. Uh, so this three then, but that means if this is three four, remember this square here is going to be three four as well, right? So the three blocks here, so we know immediately three goes there, four goes there, four will be in that square there, four now blocks across here, in you go four, and in you go three, like in you go Jones, three up, three down, three in there, and uh, missing number here is a one. Blocking up here, one get there, get be there, and nine in this square, nine blocks this square here, so nine goes here, and to finish, uh, six will do it. Okay, so a very easy and simple hard level Guardian puzzle there, nothing complicated I think, no special logic needed or anything like that, a bit of determination to get the end. There will be at least one more puzzle today, at least I'll be playing the New York Times for today. And hopefully, the LA Times as well later. Um, let's see how it goes. As I say, it, it is a public holiday, which means that a couple of my roles are not necessary, but the others are. And uh, my deadline has been extended, which was supposed to be finished a couple of days ago. Anyway, right. Bye-bye. See you later.